And now we move on to the student member of the board. Good evening, Chair Causey, Superintendent Williams, board members, and team BCPS. Since my last report, I have continued to meet with student leaders from Baltimore County Student Councils, BCSC, and around, and around the county. I've met with families and teachers to answer questions on the fall reopening plan, solicit uh, concerns slash feedback, and to uh, speak on the work that I, the, I, this board, and the administration have been doing during this pandemic to address many of the challenges that were presented. Since the spring, <clears throat> BCSC has continued to meet in order to plan events that will keep our students engaged through workshops and also to restructure the council's executive board, which had to be reshaped so that we can adhere to the virtual meeting requirements. The interim officers and the executive board, led by Sam, will hold their first uh, meeting later this month. Secondly, BCSC plans to host an event on the 23rd of September that will uh, be open to all students, not just student council, uh, titled uh, PIVOT, uh, which the acronym stands for Positive, Informative, uh, Virtual, Organizational Tips, uh, and the event will incorporate a number of workshops geared to give students tips on how to stay engaged during uh, digital learning. We can't wait to see students, and we are happy to have the guest appearance of the superintendent to kick it off. Uh, for those students that want to attend uh, Pivot, please speak with school staff, preferably your SGA advisors or administrators, uh, to sign up. Sam and I will also host an Instagram Live uh, tomorrow to key recap the first week of school. Uh, one of our community superintendents will also be there to, uh, to help answer some of the important questions. Uh, the Live will uh, begin at 4 p.m. on uh, the Team BCPS Instagram page. Uh, the last couple of weeks, I also had the opportunity to attend various uh, panel discussions and rallies hosted by our uh, students and community members on topics ranging from the fall reopening, uh, education uh, equity, youth activism, and et cetera. I thank uh, my, some of my fellow board members, uh, Ms. Scott and Ms. Pasteur, and other uh, staff members for joining me on some of these community discussions. Lastly, I want to thank our teachers and everyone in uh, every employee in the school system for their hard work, uh, for the hard work they put in, uh, in uh, into the reopening of the fall semester. Our students are grateful for their arduous commitment to give uh, all uh, students the best educational uh, uh, experience. Although much of the issues from uh, the emergency closure this spring were addressed, uh, many students, uh, parents, and teachers continue to communicate uh, new issues that were presented uh, last week. These, uh, these issues range from uh, connectivity issues, uh, access to working devices, uh, class schedules, uh, and transparency and adequate uh, communication regarding uh, announcements in individual schools and the on from the county. As I uh, continue to hear these concerns, I will uh, continue to appraise the superintendent and the board uh, with the hopes that we can work together to one, understand the issues, and two, find uh, tangible solutions. Uh, the success of the fall semester and potential uh, and the potential uh, in-person reopening will require the best uh, from all of us. We have to listen uh, and understand, and most importantly, uh, support one another. Henry Ford said it best, coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. Thank you.